What teams have you been disappointed with this offseason? Right, start over. Thank you. Drew. I appreciate that. You two just had a passionate, passionate debate. Uh, my three teams that I'm I actually am sweating disapp- right now. Oh no, for so sure. It got hot in here. It got hot in here really fast. So it's going to unfortunately continue to seem as if I'm hating on this team when in reality I'm really not a hater of this franchise. I've loved this team before. I still have love for the city 100%. It's Miami Heat. Miami have disappointed me because they're in a position where they were one game away from reaching the NBA Finals and they're at a point where they can't do much with this roster given the contracts that they've had to get that they've given out. They traded for Kyle Lowry. That's 25 million right there. They have Bam Adebayo signed to a contract, which obviously you you deal with that. That's your second best player in Bam Adebayo is one of the better defenders in the league. But you also have money tied up in Duncan Robinson for 15 million a season. You're inevitably going to have to pay Tyler Hero as well. So they have their hands tied with money, but you lose PJ Tucker, a huge presence for you on the, on the defensive side of the ball. You lose that that corner specialist that that Joel loves to to speak about because it's true he definitely is knocked down when it comes to that and just his presence in the locker room as well his veteranship uh, it's disappointing me because you're a piece away and I understand that it's the Kevin Durant sweepstakes and they're not in a position right now where they can trade for Kevin Durant given the the, the contract situation but. They're kind of lost in that, and it's halted them from making other free agent moves. So I'm disappointed with them because I see what they can be and what they've lacked in this offseason, and it's unfortunate. Now, my next team that I'm disappointed in is the Phoenix Suns. Disappointed in the Phoenix Suns because, again, they're another team that's lost in the KD sweepstakes, so they're not trying to make any moves because that's their primary focus. And ultimately, it could burn them if Kevin Durant decides to stay over there in Brooklyn, and now they essentially have the exact same roster as last year, minus DeAndre Ayton. You didn't get better. You got a little bit worse. And you were just a team that overly disappointed in the playoffs to a Mavericks team that you were more than favorites to win. I'm definitely disappointed with what they have going on over there in Phoenix. And lastly... Believe it or not, Toronto Raptors. I'm disappointed in the Raptors because I see that they're one piece away in that starting five. They need a true center. They've yet to do they've yet to to find that that missing piece for them. <coughs> Toronto has one of the best starting fives in the NBA. You have you have uh, Fred Van Vliet, you have Gary Trent Jr., OG Ananobi, Scotty Barnes, Pascal Siakam. This is an amazing starting five, but when when it comes to anything else from that starting five, the depth that they lack is tremendous. They do need that starting five. They yet to address it, and they really haven't done anything this offseason to better the team outside of signing Otto Porter, which is definitely big for them. But I would have liked to see them address that need at center. For me, uh, Charlotte's my number one team right now. Uh, not and it's not a lot of the stuff that's happened to them. It's, it's out of their control, you know. Obviously, that's fair. Miles Bridges situation that sucked, but I, since they did lose a, a player like that, he's probably not going to come back. That's something I got to be disappointed in. So that's obviously losing a twenty point score and the guy who had the best connection with Lamelo Ball and the team. That's huge, and he's one of their young pieces. So that kind of stinks for the corporation. I don't know what they're going to do. They haven't made no moves to address the center position, just like Toronto. Nothing major, but Mark Williams worked. But um, yo, throw some respect on his name. I don't like to put too much on rookies. But I'm just you know saying, what I'm saying? They, that's what they did to yeah. address it. All right, fine. They've addressed it with a rookie, but nonetheless, you still have to see him play. Agreed. My number two team is 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 going to be Milwaukee. Not because I, I feel like when we watch the Boston series, you know, you go back and you watch it. I feel like their their role players was underwhelmed. I feel like they didn't have enough guys who can defend outside of Drew Holiday. Shout out to Wesley Matthews. He did all he, he could, did. but he's he's old you know he's, he's not, that, he's, he's not that same player he used to be so I, I feel like in in Milwaukee they could have beefed up the, the depth you know got some 3 and D guys or got some defensive guys some wing guys they did draft one so since you want me to add draft guys they mm-hmm. did draft a guy who's long athletic but I feel like Milwaukee still bringing back Bobby was huge but I still feel like their depth they could have added maybe one or two more pieces to add on to that depth but nonetheless those are my two because I don't think a lot of teams really lost in this free agency up until today. I agree. So those are my two teams. Uh, before you go, really quick. Uh, Talk to me. When we spoke about it before the show and you said that you were going to mention Milwaukee, uh, I feel like I didn't want to mention Milwaukee because they lost a Boston series in seven games without their second best player in Chris Middleton. They're probably evaluating this offseason the fact of we were a game away from the team that just went to the finals. They shouldn't have evaluated it like that, though. Player. I feel like they should evaluate it like but we I, were 3-2. That- in Milwaukee, we had the game in the fourth quarter, and we folded. And our role players and if were they had, underwhelming. If they had Chris Middleton, which it but, seems to be popular belief, 
Many believe that they would have been the Celtics. Agree, but there's also popular, not popular, but there's also a confidence in where you can say, we in that locker room, we could have won without Chris Middleton. For sure. We could have. I don't disagree Role players are underwhelming. Too much on Giannis. He had to do a lot for that team. Mm-hmm. So I think that's I get why. I, like, I don't think they're like a complete loss. I still mm-hmm. think they're like top of the teams in you the East. You think they should have brought back DiVincenzo? Or? Mm, nah. Nah. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. He, he, Dante cooled up, but not. Mm-hmm. Okay. Charlotte was obviously a loser in the offseason. Not only because they, they weren't going to bring back Miles Bridges anyway, but, you know, Miles Bridges goes, an all star caliber level player leaves you. You bring in a coach in Steve Clifford who isn't the coach that I think can fully unlock LaMelo Ball, at least on the offensive side of the ball. And they just haven't made any moves. Yes, they got Mark Williams. Does, does it help them, I guess, in theory? But really, there's nothing set in stone. There's there's no improvement that you see on the roster that you're like, yeah, they're definitely going to improve. And even if you think Mark Williams makes them better defensively or, or at least fixes that center position, they lost an all-star player in Miles Bridges, which they weren't going to bring level. back anywhere. And anyway, and anyway, so because of that, the Hornets are losers. I mean, they were a playing team last season. They needed to take that next step. And they're gonna Mello regress. Has been, on the they should have took the next step this year. I don't disagree, but now we're just gonna see Lamelo be more dominant and with they the ball. Not be good, but whatever. And then the next team is the Washington Wizards, because they gave Bradley Beal uh, supermax. That's really it. I like that. You know, the the only the, you know Bradley Beal. I've been vocal about him for years. Would you have let him walk? Yeah, I actually would have. You know, I've been vocal about Bradley Beal for years. <laughs> no, yeah. you're crazy. You're crazy. Let him walk and get nothing for him is nuts. I'd rather do that than pay him how much they're going to pay him. They should have traded him and got something. We spoke about it a ridiculous amount during the season last year. There's a year. no trade clause. Did now. they make Yeah. Offs? No way. There's no trade clause on his contract. They did make moves, though. Monte Morris, I thought, was a good pickup. Will Barton. But they had DeLon Wright. But they have so many guards. Lost KCP. I mean, they just, they just drafted a guard 10th overall in Johnny Davis. And you have Monte Morris who's going to get minutes. Bradley Beal is going to get minutes. Will Barton is going to get minutes. Corey Kispert, the 15th pick last year, should have get minutes. DeLon Wright, he was a good piece for Atlanta last good year. Backup. Why shouldn't he get minutes? How is Johnny Davis gonna gonna play? And in this, I feel like there is a chance He's for gonna play. there is a chance for Johnny Davis to be buried within the rotation. And even if he does play, he won't play significant minutes. And to me. That is a waste of a pick at that point. I thought the Johnny Davis pick was good if you just let Beal go. You have your shooting guard of the future in theory in Johnny Davis. Let Bradley Beal walk. Trade him for whatever. Just why give him the Supermax for you just to be mediocre? It just doesn't make sense to me. So they're a team that I'm definitely disappointed with what what they made. I'm not surprised. Keeping Bradley Beal was one of the dumbest moves their their franchise could have made, honestly. That Supermax looks nasty. <laughs> it does indeed. Shout out to his family, though. He's going to be making $60 million one year, correct? It's $56 million annually. annually. Oh, it, like averaging out, it's going to be $56 I think million at the annually. end of last year. He's he getting makes... paid $50 million this year, so he's going to touch $60 million eventually. Like his last year, like 63 No, 60 because I think Joker, Joker, ah, the Joker gets 63 Yep. You give the you give Jokic. I give that, I give, give him that money yeah. 10 times out of 10. No cap. He gets yeah. the money. He's a two-time MVP. The other guy has nothing. I don't disagree. Did I stand 10 toes on the Atlanta take <clears throat> or no? That was one of your few you did. Okay, okay. I'm just wondering. That's a really good one. Oh, yeah. I'm just, I'm just wondering. Didn't you say they're going to make the playoffs? They did. Oh, yeah, they did. <laughs> no, but they didn't say they're going to be a higher seed, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I almost, my, my take almost folded. They did make the playoffs, though. <laughs> yeah, you see, yeah hey, but I did call them a fluke, and they were a fluke. They were also called Nick's third seed, bro. You were, you kind of flipped in That's my team, though. That's my team. No, 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 no. Stop it. So I was right on the Bulls and the Hawks. Bulls being mid and the Hawks being flukes. But how are we mid? Eh, never mind. They weren't mid. They were mid. They lost in the first round. The boys were hurt. How is so that wait, mid? How, when you I think said, healthy, they beat Milwaukee. Wait, anyway? wait, 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 no. wait, wait, wait. But I, I don't think they're the seed that they are if they're healthy. I called the Pacers mid for making it the first round. You called them competitive. So why are we mid but not competitive? I never said the Pacers weren't mid. I, I agreed with you they were mid, but they still won games. We won one. You won games, yeah, sure. 
They're, I never said the Pacers so wait, what were you, mid. What are now. the Knicks? You guys did get swept. We were bad Who last did? year. I thought you guys. The Nets are the only team. I apologize. Swept. You're right. Don't disrespect it. The Knicks were bad last year. As simple as that. Bad. That's that's your only word. <laughs> well, bad is a pretty. No, you need to dig deeper word into for that, them, bag, right? buddy. You think, yeah, it's, it's bad. No, you were shitty. Disappointing. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you need to dig deep into that bag. Well, you were yeah, bottom of the barrel. Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure. You know, yeah. I just and just. I mean, hey, hey, Jalen. Just Brunson, in the in the past RJ couple Barrett? of minutes, I was just thinking about things that you know you said. Ten, I tenth best duo in the in the Eastern Conference at best. Who? Jalen Brunson, RJ. <laughs> What they got? What the trio is like? The twelfth best, thirteenth. Oh my that god! Trio stinks. Poopy. Yeah, trash ass team. Mm. It's Sorry, unfortunate. Yeah. It's unfortunate. We got a brighter future than the Bulls. I think so? Still. Oh heavens, no. no! I know so. I'd rather go see a Davies concert at this point <laughs> than watch you guys. Play. <laughs> you, you used that joke three years ago. It worked. And it still works. You used that joke three years ago. I bet you the fans. It's that was actually on the anymore. premiere show. It's actually it? not funny no more. You don't. That was so? on our second show ever. You think so? You think in the comments they won't laugh? Huh? You think like make sure you better. You think in the comments they won't laugh? Mm -mm. I, I think I think some people will laugh. <laughs> oh, okay, just because that might be their first time hearing it. Good, we got new fans. But I, I've I've, I've, heard, I've heard it before. That, you know, when Drew has it, yeah. so when I've Drew heard, has yeah. it, yeah, yeah. So you, you laugh. I did. Just, you know, don't least, hate. Stop hating. Come up with new content, man. You guys need to come up with a new team. <laughs> we did. We got Jalen Brunson. Right. <laughs> that is going to make a difference for sure. Uh, what is he? The twentieth, eight, nineteenth best point guard. 18th? I think eighteenth. Around there. 